Okay, um, there's a lot of different ways to use a fly cutter, and I find that they really do a smoother job than in my small milling machine trying to use an end mill, make multiple passes, everything always shows up. Uh, it feels pretty good, but it always looks like the devil. Now there's, um, you know, a bomb, and, you know, um, everybody in the world has got a video on how to grind bits. Well, you know, I found in my fly cutter that the best was to do something that looked kind of like this. However, I have a hard time getting my pea brain to grind them the right direction. I'm so used to using a rounded bit like that in my old Logan lathe and of course the cutting edge is on the opposite side as it is in a fly cutter. So with that said uh, I tried you know also grinding a different profile and I got fairly good results. So this is my quick fix and uh, I ordered from all places Bang, bang good and I don't know if you'll be able to read much of this stuff but anyway this is a it's a 102 8182 uh, and it's a face mill external lathe holder with 10 piece insert and the price was 1995 plus uh, 292 shipping now there was, here's the Shars number, I don't know if you'll be able to find, uh, not Shars, but uh, Banggood number, if you'll be able to find that. And this is what the actual cutter looks like when you get it. It's, uh, it's 5 eighths by five-eighths uh, quite substantial all right so the only thing I did to modify this thing to fit is I cut this down to three-eighths by three-eighths actually five-sixteenths by five-sixteenths I thought I had a three-eighths by three-eighths fly cutter but I didn't now for the skeptics uh, it does a great job. I thought there might have been a little too much flex. So I'm going to take you over to the milling machine now and show you what kind of job it does. All right, uh, here we go. Uh, this cutter is mounted in my old uh, closing milling machine. It's just a little knee mill, only a half inch arbor. So I was lucky enough to find a fly cutter holder with a number two Morris taper. So here we go. Now this may be a rather long video. I'm cranking it across by hand. I don't know how many feet per minute this is, but probably about one and a half feet per minute, I would guess. This box is about eight inches long. But I think what should amaze you is the finish you get with these out-of-the-box cheap inserts. Remember, the, the whole cost was 20 bucks for the um, bar and 10 inserts. And if you're lucky enough to uh, already have a fly cutter that will accept, you know, something larger than 5 sixteenths, go ahead and cut that very large bar down and make it fit. Now that's about 15 thousandths of a depth of cut on a 
piece of aluminum. I have no idea what, what kind of aluminum it is, just a piece of scrap that came out of my box. I'm running at about 400 RPM on the cutter. The best part about all this is if you uh, dull the cutter some way, you simply lose a little, you lose some little torques, bolt. Turn the cutter a fraction of a turn, and don't forget you can turn the thing 360 degrees, and never have to worry about grinding these things again in your life. Okay, I'm going to stop things and move you to the other side. Now my camera does not like all the glare from my LED lights. Hopefully, hopefully you can see that. I'm going to turn this off. And that's what it looks like with the, with the shop lights. Now I can't tell if that shows up or not. There's a picture of the uh, little button cutter. Um, this is shows you the backside where I machined it down, and uh, anyway, you know it's a half-hour project. It'll save you countless amount of hours messing around trying to sharpen bits for a fly cutter. Thank you. Okay, here's a picture of Banggood's website. And I'll try zooming in, but my camera is not excellent. So anyway, here's the here's the important information. So hopefully that's all you need.